Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And, well, this is not what Donald Trump wanted to hear. Could he be spending time behind bars? Yes. Yes, he could. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Now, it would be tough to argue that it's not every Democrat's dream, from the people in power to the people in the media, to your average Democrat that you see walking day to day and you talk to at work maybe, that it's their dream to see former President Donald Trump behind bars. I think they've made that known by bringing all these cases, by calling him a criminal, by calling him all kinds of terrible words, and accusing him of being guilty for crimes he hasn't been found guilty of. And yet they want to see him in prison. Well, one former federal judge said that the only way for this new gag order to work is not to fine Trump, it's not to admonish him. The only way to do it is, quote, bring your toothbrush because you're going to be sitting in a jail cell. Now, I want you to watch this video of a very, in my opinion, biased judge, and I want you to tell me what you think about it because I think this is banana republic, third world country kind of stuff. I want you to watch it, like I said, and then, of course, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Works, what's broken, and how to change it. So, Lidoris, uh, one, thanks for being here, but uh, what do you make of Trump's relentless attacks against the New York judge and his family? Well, Omar, thank you for having me. Um, what people should know first off is that this is not normal. Attacks upon our legal system, attacks on judges, witnesses, jurors, court staff, lawyers, and their families, it's not normal. I've presided over thousands of hearings and trials during my nearly 20 years as a trial judge, and never did any defendants in my courtroom show such disrespect for the court system as was shown by Donald Trump. Uh, and occasionally I had to warn a defendant to conduct himself properly, but a warning was usually sufficient. In this instance, Trump's words are clearly intended to intimidate, threaten, and incite violence against the people he names in the words coming out of his mouth and on social media. So what he's doing, he's literally thumbing his nose at the courts, and he's making a mockery of the legal system. And we know this because he has cautioned, he has never once, never cautioned his followers to abstain from making threats and otherwise attack his targets. He wants to put people in fear for their lives by having his followers do his dirty work. Uh, so, Omar, the job of a trial judge is to ensure a fair trial for both sides and to manage the courtroom to ensure law and order. So when you have a disruptor like Donald Trump, judges have tools to rein them in. They have warnings. You've got fines. You've got gag orders. You've got incarceration. And warnings and fines haven't worked with Trump. So, you know, when I think about what Donald Trump is doing, it's akin to it's something I read in a very famous book called Please yeah. Don't Eat the Daisies, written by Jean Kerr. She's a wonderful humorist and author. And she describes an incident in the book that gave the title to the book, where she tells her children things they not to do at her dinner party. However, after seeing only a few stems sticking out of the table centerpiece, she realized she neglected to include in her do not rules that they should not eat the daisies. And Trump, just like a child, has to be told what he cannot do, no matter how obvious. Like, you don't threaten people. You don't threaten judges. You don't threaten family members. So Judge Mershan, uh, I believe, should immediately expand the gag order to include himself and his family members and include D.A. Bragg and his family members. Um, I, I tell you, I fail to understand why judges do not include themselves and their family members in these gag orders. They haven't done so. Their lives and the lives of their families have been subjected to death threats, all because of Donald Trump's words. And that kind of speech is not protected by the First Amendment. So, And, and what happens, Trump just crosses, to throw this in there, what happens when, when Trump sure. breaks that gag order on Truth Social or otherwise? Right. And, and you said when and not if, and I think you're right, Omar, when he steps across that gag order line, and I do hope it will be expanded, there should be only one response. Bring your toothbrush, Donald Trump, because you're going to sit in a jail cell for a while. There has to be an immediate consequence when he defies a court order. 